Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Discovery. This is the series where I head on out into the galaxy to find the unusual, the spectacular and the beautiful. On today's episode, I take a break from my journey towards the galactic core and explore closer to home, where there is a rather unusual planetary nebula. I also share some thoughts on potential exploration changes. It's been a long while since I've been to this particular area of space, very close to two years in fact. As you may have noticed near the start of the video, this is the Spirograph Nebula, and you can see the uh, star name there if you want to come visit it for yourself. It's rather unusual and very close to home, around about 1000 light years, so you should be able to make it out here in even a modest ship. Now what makes this particular location so interesting to me is the somewhat rare colours of the nebula itself. As you can see here, a stunning green. And because Barnard's Loop and the neighbouring nebula are also so close, that gives for some fantastic backdrops. Now this is the closest planet to the local star. It's a ringed world and, well, I just wanted to go visit. The nebula itself casts some rather unusual lighting down on the planet, giving it a green hue, especially on the dark side, where the ambient light from the nebula has a far greater impact on the planetary surface. And this of course only enhances the colour of the rings here, which are lit by the blue-white star. Now the planet itself unfortunately doesn't have much in the way of remarkable features, there are a few surface cracks and canyons here, and those are well worth flying over and investigating. Even if, for nothing else, than to take a look at the sky from another perspective. And again, you can see how the other local nebula stand out against green rather than the usual black. Now a frequent comment on exploration is the fact that so much of the galaxy looks the same no matter where you go. And whilst it's true that if you spend enough time you will eventually come across unique locations, places like this and many of the others, it's nonetheless not an easy task to do. And in part, this is due to the game mechanics, the exploration game mechanics that are here in the game. Now as we all know, Frontier have said more than once that after 2.4, after patch 2.4, they're going to take a look at the core gameplay of Elite Dangerous and rework it and enhance it. Now it's quite likely it seems, based on recent discussions from Frontier, that exploration is going to be one of those core mechanics that they're going to rework and enhance. And whilst at the moment there's no real solid information as to what they actually mean by this, it's nonetheless a great opportunity to actually put forth some ideas and discuss what we'd like to see. So with that in mind, I'd love to hear from you all in the comments section below what you feel that you'd like to see changed, what improvements you'd like to see made, is it just some basic mechanics you'd like to see changed? Would you like to see exploration have a complete overhaul? Or would you simply just be content to find new things out there in the depths of space? Now not too far into the system was something I knew was going to be a great sight. This moon orbiting very close to that ringed atmospheric world. As soon as I saw this on the system map, I knew I wanted to check it out up close. The only thing that could have possibly improved upon this view would have been the ability to fly down there into the atmosphere. And that of course is perhaps another way to improve and expand upon exploration. Bring in new planetary types, but of course that is a major task. And even with new planets, we still really would need new exploration tools, new exploration mechanics, and essentially entirely new exploration gameplay. People who have been following Elite Dangerous long enough will no doubt remember the old concept art of the orrery maps. These were essentially 3D maps that were much more complex than the current system maps, and I'd actually like to see these involved in some way in future exploration gameplay. Maybe for example, as we use a multitude of different exploration tools, we could then build up this orrery map. A map which would be intrinsically valuable, not just in terms of its credit value, but also because it took us time and effort to construct it. In my ideal vision of a gameplay like that, such an orrery map wouldn't be completed through mini-games and a grind, but rather through player skill and true exploration and discovery. Of course, it could go much deeper than that, 
And in fact, I did make a video on what I'd like to see in the future of exploration a long time ago. So I'll link that old video below. If you're interested, you can go and check it out. Now down here on the surface of the planet, I come across a rather large crater which had this really dark shadows in it. And as I don't get to drive around on dark surfaces very often in the SRV, I thought this was a great opportunity to do so. In the center of the crater is a rather vast mountain, no doubt the remnants from a meteor that caused the crater when it struck this world many ages ago. Now as I flew into the crater, I could have gone to the center and checked the height of this mountain, but I didn't do so, so I actually have no idea how large it actually is. Whilst it's not that big in comparison to many of the mountains that are out there, it's something that nonetheless I did want to climb, and I knew that the view from the top would be well worth the effort. And for me, that really is one of the rewards for exploration, finding something that's unique, finding something that's amazing to see. I believe we do need tools to assist us in finding these things, but I also believe that exploration needs to be there for all other types of explorers. It needs to be a both rewarding in the financial sense, as well as an investment of time sense. The galaxy of Elite Dangerous is no doubt beautiful, with many fantastic opportunities and things to see. And if the exploration mechanics can be reworked, then hopefully they too can match the beauty of the galaxy which they are invested. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.